Mark McKinney. Mark McKinney. Hey, Brent. How are you? Are you in Los Angeles, California? I'm in Los Angeles, California. Giant show business factories down there churning out hilarity. I have to dance to my car and I better be good. The standards are going up every day. I believe, I don't think I'm wrong about this. I, th I think I'm right about this. You are the first person to have uh, done guest star roles on both the live action Corner Gas and Corner Gas Animated. I was wondering if I'm in the right place. I was just having that same thought myself. Am I the first? How is that possible? The first one to do both shows. How, how does that feel? Well, I'm honored. And one of the things that we learn in this episode is that uh, Lacey's childhood dream was to jump out of an airplane and Wanda's childhood dream was to push somebody out of a plane. I was thinking more of an emotional push, like support. Oh, I can do a bit of that. But when push comes to shove, I am really good at shoving and pushing. How about Mark McKinney? Did Mark McKinney have any uh, childhood dreams that did or did not come true? I, I always wanted to parachute. And I, th I think if I jumped out now, you know, uh, my thigh bones would be driven into my chest cavity. I just don't know if I could. Wish I'd done it. I might get around to gliding. I want to do that. Now, ha have you had the opportunity to see your your likeness, your your Corner Gas animated character? Oh, yeah. Love him. Love the name. <laughs> I don't know what he's drinking. Is that is that like motor oil or is he is he a bit of a boozer? He's a bit of a boozer. That's one of the uh, concerns that Brent has going up in the plane is the, the guy's a notorious drunk. The owner's name is Frank Shoddy. Yeah, and he's a notorious drunk. Whoa, was that a goose? Oh, I hate those things! How does Mark McKinney, what's your process? How does Mark McKinney approach creating a new character? Oh, good Lord. A lot of bloodletting. I don't like, I don't like to, I don't like to perform with a full tank. So I lose a pint. No, uh, what do I do? I read it. I look at the suggestion. Uh, for me, it was all the name. Frank Shoddy. That's a shoddy plane. That's just the name. This is not going to go well. <laughs> you know. Was that a whiskey bottle? And I love the line, the hook line for me was him yelling at his dead dad. 10,000 feet? That's too many feet. 10,000? That's our personal best. Now who's a disappointment dad? For anyone who doesn't know, back in the days, when the kids in the hall were taping their uh, show in Toronto in front of a live studio audience, I was one of the uh, comedians who would get to do studio warm-up for you guys. And it was the sweetest gig, the cushiest gig, because you guys were like the Beatles to, to these people. And it was the sweetest gig as a comedian because the audience was like, oh, he's he's a friend with the kids in the hall. We, <laughs> we love him too, automatically. It was a fantastic <laughs> scenario. So thanks for that. That was always a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. Well, Mark, it is so great to see you again, and thanks for uh, coming and playing ball with us again. Thanks, thanks a lot for doing this. Oh, I'm so thrilled you asked.